So here we are at the Palladium, which has phenomenal sound, by the way, so you should go. And yeah, this is a great theater up the street from the R-Client. So we were coming up on one of our stranger jokes. Uh, this, this whale bit... Um, <laughs> I'm going to pause it here in a second, so you just keep talking. Yeah, this, this whale bit coming up here, this is something that was born out of just a lot of rewriting and a lot of figuring out who these characters are in this particular moment. And Phil, Phil and I are big fans of Star Trek II. Oh, my God. Which is, of course, heavily influenced by Moby Dick. And pirate movies. And pirate movies, which I'm, I'm a huge fan of Moby Dick. I've read it a couple of times. And to have a character be obsessed with Moby Dick while another character has a completely different experience <laughs> of the world <laughs> was really exciting to me. And Phil just kind of Phil found this idea of he's going to be a puppet whale. And it's another kind of idea that I fought against for a little bit, where I was like, <laughs> that's ridiculous. What are you doing to my beautiful, beautiful words? And then Phil says, I bought the whale. It's going in. And then I go, all right, fine. <laughs> I, spent, I, spent 80 bucks, I spent 80 bucks from, uh, from, uh, to a guy in Minnesota who makes puppet whales for... For the Bible, right? For the story of Jonah. Yeah. And you said, make them white. Well, like, you make them white, and it shows up, and it's white with pink lips. And yeah. I didn't, even, I didn't even ask for the pink lips. Ridiculous. But sure, thanks. Whatever. <laughs> sure. Whatever. Um, yeah, which, again, gives... I, I mentioned me throwing a hissy fit in episode four. I always... I, I, I have another writing partner who will show up in this series later on. Whenever he gives me notes... I freak out on him for about 15 minutes where I go, you can't change this. Nothing makes sense anymore. You're an idiot. I'm an idiot for trusting you. <laughs> and then I call him 15 minutes later and go, yeah, I guess it's fine. I guess it doesn't actually. I, I, I have benefited from you being busy. So you'll write this amazing script and I'll be like, oh, this is awesome. Awesome. Let's just throw out uh, change a bunch of things. A quarter of this. So we'll put in this, we'll put in that. And then I'll call him up after we've shot and say, so Mark, I love the script. It was amazing. But I changed like half changed it. So, it. you know, just, you know, the reality of it is it, 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 it's just, it is what it is, I guess, which is a bad way of, it's not logical, but, uh, you know, you're shooting something or you're writing something or you're, you know, your partner's busy because he's off gallivanting in the middle of Burbank. Well, I understand the difference between what you write and what you shoot. But I, also... You want to expand the world, and we, ri we we did risk jumping the shark, and I, I think that with the rest of the milkshake, we proved that we, we hadn't jumped the shark, but... Not yet. We, yeah, wait till you get episode eight. <laughs> I, I, you know, you want to, you, you want to show, I think, that the world is broader. Yeah. So, yeah, we see Lance through Drake's eyes at this point. Right. You, you, we realize that Lance, uh, oh, sorry, that we realize that we, we realize that Drake is high as a kite, which we've established, if you've been watching since episode two, that he does and sells drugs. This is sort of what he does. So I guess it requires backstory that we haven't established in episode five. Yeah. That he's probably high. There's an incredible thing that happens when writing where you will leave these little, these, you'll plant these little seeds for yourself without even realizing it. And one of the great things about this show being serialized and being the way that it is, when Phil and I sit down to write the next episodes, we'll say, hey, remember that bit? Remember that throw off line where he says, I make and sell drugs. What if he was just incredibly high this whole time? Well, all, all times. At all times. And we go, oh yeah, yeah, that would be funny. How can we show that? And so this is, Kind of the gen this is you know the the Georgia pine that was planted by that little acorn. Which Georgia pine comes up later. High as a Georgia pine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now just to be just to, just to be clear, I've never actually read Moby Dick, but I have seen Star Trek II a lot. Which I'll I'll having having done both, it's it's practically a one to one. It's just as good. <laughs> so, so yeah, we have oh so so now we realize that uh, that Drake is completely stoned. 
Uh, and now we finally see our, we, well, I guess it's a little deus machina, but we have. The, the Prius drivers just happen to show up. It is and it isn't, because this is another LA thing where as big as this city is and as populous as it is, I can't tell you how many times I've run into people that I know yeah. in the last place I would expect to see them. And he, here we have Lance, Paulin, and Sean. Oh, these guys. Uh, these guys are incredible. Yeah, I, the, oh man, there was, there was about five minutes that I recorded with them improving, and I, you could see me just losing my bowels at how hilarious they were. It's so funny. And I, I forgot to hit record on the audio, and so I could hear them, and I thought, oh, like, this, this is, is great. Good. This is brilliant. Oh my this God, is this is so good. This is comedy gold. This is going on Funny or Die. I, I don't, you can hear yourself. Speaking because you're holding the camera yeah. in the camera mic, going, "Oh, this is so good! This is so good! This is so, so good! Fucking Everyone good. at home is gonna love this." Phil, Phil, future Phil, uh, put this in. Yeah, and then don't yeah. lose this moment. <laughs> and then there's and then there's uh, that moment in like real science where the yeah. brother realizes he's a pile of shit. Yes, and he's farting all over himself. That was Chet. me. <laughs> yeah. 